So when the Pat McAfee show moved over to ESPN a number of months back, people were wondering, are we going to get the same Pat McAfee we've had for a number of years when his show was independent, when it was sponsored by FanDuel? Or is ESPN going to have some say in the show as far as toning it down a little bit? What has to wonder because of the controversy that has swirled the last couple of months as it pertains to the one, the only Caitlin Clark, megastar of the Indiana Fever in the WNBA. Now, a couple months back, Pat, Pat was talking about the draft class of the WNBA. And, uh, well, I'm just going to play for you guys because this is what started everything. This little clip right here. And I found it at the New York Post. But I would like the media people that continue to say, this rookie class, this rookie class, this rookie class, nah. Just call it for what it is. There's one white bitch for the Indiana team who is a superstar. And is it because she stayed in Iowa, put an entire state on her back, took a program from nothing to a multiple year success story? Is it because she would go on to break the entire points records in the history of the NCAA? Not just the women's record by Kelsey Plum, shout out, Mm -hmm. but also Pistol Pete Maravich's. Now I get what he was saying there. I totally get what he was saying there. I saw nothing wrong with that comment. Ho, 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 ho. Evidently, somebody somewhere saw something wrong with that comment. Um, in fact, Pat had to apologize. We put this over on X after said comment was made on his show. I shouldn't have used white bitch as a descriptor of Caitlin Clark. No matter the context, even if we're talking about race being a reason for some of the stuff happening, I have way too much respect for her and women to put that into the universe. My intentions when saying it were complimentary, just like the entire segment, but a lot of the folks are saying that it certainly wasn't at all. That's 100% on me, and for that I apologize. I've sent an apologize to Caitlin as well. Everything else I said, still all facts. So some people didn't like his apology either, like Mike North. You're a white bitch. That's a compliment. Well, McAfee is a white bitch also, so we're just passing out the compliments, aren't we? What a sad sack. I expect that from Mike North. I used to listen to Mike North on the score out of Chicago for a number of years. Even watched the show it was simulcast on NBC Sports Chicago. Another person said, this is why you were, you were a punter. Pathetic apologizing for something so benign. Not wrong. It was benign. But, but in today's world, we have to take something that's really benign and blow it up into a controversy because controversy creates cash. So let's fast forward, shall we? Pat McAfee was simulcasting yesterday with Rich Eisen, the Rich Eisen show, and they were discussing Caitlin Clark. Now... There was a post put up on X by Awful Announcing. Outkick picked it up, but then that post has subsequently been deleted. And they go over the whole comment he made back in June about Caitlin Clark. And so in their discussion... The, the, the issue of his comment was brought up in June, and Pat said, well, the universe told me not to talk about her. 
McAfee told Eisen in their August 21st simulcast. God came in and was like, you know what, pal? Probably go ahead and stop it. Many, including the online sports media company, Awful Announcing, believe that by Universe and God, McAfee met the network's management and executives. Pat McAfee appears to confirm that ESPN told him to stop talking about Caitlin Clark, the outlet tweeted. And then Awful Announcing took down the tweet and updated its report after speaking to a source. Awful Announcing's updated report mentions that ESPN did not actually put a halt to McAfee's Caitlin Clark commentary. Instead, it was McAfee himself who made the decision based on his own actions and mishaps. McAfee wasn't directed by anyone at ESPN regarding future coverage of Caitlin Clark, but that, that the host was merely offering his own personal reflection, the source told Awful Announcing. Meanwhile, in the same McAfee Eisen simulcast, McAfee shared his take on his previous actions and, thought, and thoughts on the w, WNBA star. We're big supporters. I think what she has done, obviously, is remarkable. Now let's the whole rookie class, yada, yada, yada. We get it. United States Olympic team, not even getting into it. But nonetheless, I am dumb, and the way I speak, not good. Hmm, not good. Me Neanderthal, me not, me not speak good. Well, I've got to say, um, I know Pat says that ESPN doesn't tell him what to say, doesn't tell him what to do, doesn't tell him how to run his show, but his show is still on their network. So I have a feeling that somebody in ESPN management, or even higher than that, somebody at Disney probably said, hey, tone it down. I mean, will the truth ever come out? Probably not. But that's my opinion. I, I believe somebody at ESPN, even though I know he's friends with the, the, the upper ups at ESPN probably told him, Hey, Pat, chill out on this Caitlin Clark thing. So what do you think? Do you think Pat got a word from above at ESPN? Or do you think it even went higher than that? A word from above at Disney to tell him to cool it on the Caitlin Clark stuff. What do you think? Comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you like what I do here, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Share this video out there with your friends and family. And with that, I will see you guys later.